Hi guys, I'm Colton. I'm Tyler. And today we're going to be showing you how to test a fuel injector. So first what you're going to need is all your tools for this. You'll need your fuel injector. You'll need some wrenches, the correct size. You'll need an Allen wrench to adjust the screws. You'll need your adapter fittings for the fuel. And, and you'll need your test stand. So with this test stand we have a bunch of different test hookups here. This is the one we'll be using today. It's just for the continuity. All these are for different voltages, so you could have a fuel injector that needs 100 volts to run. So you have this one, or you can have a fuel injector that needs 10 volts. So what we're going to be doing first is we're going to open up our machine, and we're going to set our fuel injector up in the test stand. So first what we do, we put on our fuel injector sleeve for the fuel. You've got to make sure you get it on there straight and get your fuel hole lined up inside there. Next, you want to put on your adapter for the fuel. Tighten it down with the correct size wrench. Just needs to be snug, not super tight. Next, what you want to do is put it in the mounting plate so you can actually test your fuel injector. Here's where you'll need your Allen wrench. Just snug it down. Next, you want to hook up your high pressure fuel line. Screw it on there. And then tighten it down with the correct size wrench. And you want to hook up your fuel return line. Goes right there. Now you're in the test stand, you're ready to be set up. So you go ahead and close the door. So what we have here is these are the amount of times that the fuel injector will spray. You can change it to 10 sprays, 30, 30 sprays, and 60 sprays. All right. And then the first test we're going to do, we're going to be checking the spray pattern of the fuel injector. Oh, and one more thing that I forgot. Oh, two more things that we forgot. You got to connect your wires up top. Doesn't matter which one you go on, it'll be the same. And you need to have a good air supply to your fuel injector test unit. Okay, so right now we're about to test just the spray pattern. So we're going to go over here and click this green button. And it will start spraying. We're just checking to see if the spray pattern sprays all the way around. That's what you want with this fuel injector. So we're just observing it to see. And then if you look over here at the test stand, you can see the amount of times that it's spraying. It keeps going up as the cycle goes through. And that's how what we're going to go to. So it'll spray until we get to that 60 mark. And then down here, we can see how much return fuel we're getting out of this spray pattern at 60. Looks right. like we're done there. So we open it up. Our spray pattern looks good, so now we're going to check and see how much fuel is being delivered compared to the amount of fuel that we're returning for our fuel injector. Again, and now we can measure how much fuel. All right, so we're doing the same unit, 60 sprays. See how much fuel we get in our delivery. And so now it's collecting down here at the bottom and going into our return so we can measure. 
and with these knobs down here we can also adjust the amount of fuel being delivered and the pressure that the fuel is being delivered at. We can turn it down so we can see more thoroughly the spray pattern and the amount of fuel or we can turn it up. As soon as we're all finished up here, which we're almost there, we'll open the door, we'll let the foam sit, settle, and we'll check to see how much fuel got delivered compared to the rate that it was returned at. So after letting the fuel set for a little bit, it looks like we've had about 40 milliliters of fuel delivered compared to about 18 milliliters returned to the fuel tank so that is a good injector we hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching